Hi guys, so oh my lord, I look like I've never looked before. So ugly, I don't know what's going on with my skin. But it's actually Thursday and I already started because I was so hungry and I made the asparagus just on the grill. Um, this is the tomato mozzarella, I'm sorry, not tomato mozzarella, tomato red onion. I just have balsamic, a little tiny bit of olive oil, um, salt and pepper, uh, grape tomatoes and red onions and I put that on top of the halibut. This halibut is such good quality that you really don't need it. Um, and I, I made a little bit of brown rice but I think I'm gonna like not eat that. And then I'm having a glass of wine and watching It's Judy's Life because she just always brightens my day. And there's Miss Little Chloe eating. Hi Chloe. She's amping up the cuteness for the cameras. <laughs> Happy Friday, guys. So I just made an omelet and I have some coffee with sriracha. Not sriracha in the coffee, but sriracha on my omelet. I woke up early because this little baby woke me up. Hi. But I have to like shower and get ready and stuff for work. But I just wanted to show you guys what I was eating. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. Um, I forgot necklaces um, when I packed and I couldn't find any for that my mom had here. I think she took them all. So I'm just wearing this top from Loft, um, these leggings, and then these shoes are from Hinge from like last year from Nordstrom, but just something casual. Like really nice outside. Um, it was supposed to like actually rain this whole weekend. I'm so excited it's not going to anymore. Um, All right, bye, Clo Clo. We love you, boo. I'm gonna take a water. I already had coffee this morning when I showed you guys I had my omelet with my coffee. Um, people. I just got to Kid Cashew, a new place in Charlotte. You want to be in the vlog? Happy? Do you want to be in the video? Sure. This is such a big spot. Russell sprouts look good. some reason like all my mascara on this eye looks wonky but I got premium parking at Total Wine and I am gonna get a few things for my sister and me and for Alex and for tonight see what people will want totally got like the most amazing spot at Total Wine Hi guys, so oh my god, this lighting is very bright. I'm gonna do a wine haul, yay! I don't think I've ever done this on my channel. Sorry, I'm in a little bit of a weird mood. Um, but I got everything at Total Wine. You can see, you can You can see all the wines. And I personally like to get my wines at Total Wine because they are a lot less expensive there, and you can get like really good wines. I have really helpful people that know what they're talking about recommending wines. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bottles of wine plus a case of beer for $117, which is not that bad. Um, plus at Total Wine, you get like points that will like add up and you get like discounts and stuff like that. So I want to show you guys what I got. So, Chateau de Fabregues. Fabregues? I don't know. Um, this is one of their best sellers, and he said it was really good. It's 73% Grenache and 27% Syrah. I really like Grenache in my rosés, um, and I just am excited to have that. The one, it's called, uh, Rose, it's the Willamette um, Wet Valley. Rosé Wine Willamette, it's the product of Oregon. Um, it's The place is called Domaine Lubejac, um, and it is very uh, recommended. He, the guy said that this is like his favorite rosé, and the uh, winemaker is French, and he used to make his rosés in France, and then ended up moving um, and having a vineyard in Oregon, and it's one of their best sellers. There was only two of these left, so they must um, really sell. 
break up what is in it. So I don't know if it's Grenache or what it, it could be, but um, you can tell by the coloring. It's, this one is a little more pink. So that usually means that it has, it probably has like Pinot Noir or something in it or like Cabernet or something like that. All right, so moving on to Sauvignon Blancs. These are three I've always usually get. I like to mix it up, um, especially since I haven't been like drinking a lot. And keep in mind, this is like for like my, me and my sister and her boyfriend and my other sister and her boyfriend. So it's not like, it's not gonna all be consumed like right now. I've talked about this on my channel before from New Zealand and especially from Marlboro wine country, which is very common. It's like kind of saying the Napa of New Zealand, but I would love to go there someday and go to all the vineyards there. So the crossings is really good. All of these are around the 11 to $13 mark. I really like to go under 10 unless I'm like buying a lot, then I'll get some and drink those if like I'm like at a party or something. Um, like no Bilo is okay, Monkey Bay is okay, but these are much better and only like four or five dollars more expensive. So you really get more flavor and just like more high quality wine. This is the Crossings. It's really good, probably my favorite out of the bunch. Bilo Maria is also really good. It's only like $12 here. $11 and when you go to like Harris Teeter or Publix and you want to buy this it's about $20 so highly recommend to get it at Total Wine and then this one is amazing it's the Cottsbrook one all of these are Mar Marlboro they're all really good um, honestly these are three of my favorites I like them more than like Kim Crawford which is another one I get or like Kim Crawford Oyster Bay you see those a lot but these are I find better tasting better quality but still around the same price point these are just a little bit harder to find if that makes sense i got this pinot noir for my sister stephanie from willamette valley it's called corvallis cellars i've never had it before so hopefully it's good and then this is one i've had before it's a french red um crianza it's a, from the rioja valley and it's called aspaoli aspaldi i think aspaldi aspaldi I have been to Rioja before um, in Spain. It's beautiful. And this one my boss told me about. It's also from Spain. It's a Tempranillo from Tarragona Valley. And it's called Nostrada Tempranillo. So that is it, guys. My box is now empty. Um, so I'm excited. I'm going to chill some of those now. But what I also want to do is show you guys a quick um, Nordstrom unboxing. And I got a pair of shoes and a makeup brush. Annoying. So I got this brush by Chanel. It is the angled powder brush. So many people have talked about this. Uh, my friend, it was funny because I ordered this like not even talking to Mel, but uh, Melissa, Makeup Faces with Mel, ordered it. And I was like, we are twinning because I just ordered that too. <laughs> and um, one of my friends on Instagram also had recently ordered it. She says she really liked it. It's so nice, guys. I actually saw it at Nordstrom not too long ago. But since I just didn't have time this week, I ordered it online. So that's what it looks like. I know Makeup by Tiffany D has raved about this in the past. And it used to just be available on the Chanel website. And now you can get it on Nordstrom and stuff. So I'm excited to use it. It's definitely... Um, I think I'm gonna be using this more for bronzer as opposed to contouring or you, I think you can do a really like light contour with it there um, My makeup has like fallen off from this morning, but I'm glad I got that I'm excited I'll probably use it tonight and I got a pair of Sam Edelman shoes and this is like a, one of those pairs that I feel like every single blogger has liked to know it situation this shoe and so you know like how every single like basic bitch blogger like they always wear the same exact shoes like all of them like to know the same shoe but this one like honestly like i had seen these before the girls started wearing them and i really wanted them i just hadn't bought them because it wasn't spring yet um i saw these back in like J january or something and they're sam edelman's um they're the they're not super expensive either Yardly lace up and I didn't get it get them in the tan. I got them in the black um, So that's what they look like if You follow any blogger on Instagram Everyone and their mother has these in the tan, but oh my god. They're so cute. I love them I think I'm gonna wear them tonight. It is so nice today. It was 80 degrees all day Like I was burning up in my outfit How cute are those you guys? Oh my lord. I am obsessed with them I'm So obsessed all right, well, I'm gonna 
Unfortunately, I'm not in the mood, but I'm gonna go work out. I've been slacking this week, and honestly, the past two weeks since I've been traveling so much and it's so hard. That's always my downfall. I just have to keep up with it, and honestly, thankfully, I have a trainer that forces me and keeps me motivated because if I didn't have a trainer, it would be so easy to give up. Honestly, it's I know it's such a luxury, and I would rather, honestly, like, I'm like, it's a lot of money, but it really keeps you accountable, and Lord knows I would have given up already if I didn't have my trainer, so when I'm seeing him tomorrow, and he was like, where's your cardio? Like, I haven't seen you do cardio this week, and I'm like, because I haven't, annoyingly. I mean, I saw him this Friday. I saw him Tuesday. We had a workout then, intense workout, and then... I left for Raleigh on Wednesday, had the meeting yesterday, and I we got back late yesterday, and I had to go get a nails and pedicure, all that stuff, and I wanted to wake up early today and do it, but now it's God telling me that I need to do it because my sister and, her, and um, Alex won't be here till later, so I have time to work out. So I'm gonna do it, even if it's just for 30 minutes, it's better than nothing, so I'm gonna do that. Take you guys along. Definitely completely empty gym by my parents. Chloe. What are you doing? What are you doing? Chloe, I'm going to shower. Can I have some privacy or no? Looks like a no. So I just finished my makeup and every time I use this, it's just like the best thing in the world. And I really liked the bronzer brush. I used it with this um, Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in natural, which I've showed you this, guy, this before. I meant to include this in my favorites and I forgot. It's a really pretty like matte bronzer. And this Kat Von D in Lolita 2. I like it. I don't know where my stuff is from. Yeah, you do. Okay. This is new. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Hi, I'm Stephanie, the youngest <laughs> sister, and my clothes are falling off. This purse is Vince Camuto. I love that purse. My mother bought it for me. Um, this. Oh, I forgot to show my necklace. It's Kendra Scott. This is new. From where? I don't remember where I bought it. I just went shopping. Kimono? I don't I don't remember where I got it from, but it's new. It's like a boutique Nordstrom? No, I went with From H&M. This shirt is from Just Fab from two years ago. Why a shirt from Just Fab? Because it's cute, I had though. so much credit. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then these jeans are free people. And these sandals Alex gave to me on graduation day of my senior year of high school. <laughs> So, there you go. And the <laughs> necklace is from Alex too, right? Yes, this is from Alex. This is from Alex. These are from Alex. You're all Alexed out. Yes. <laughs> the Alex. <laughs> Chloe, where's your OOTD from? And he has his mom has a dog and they're best friends. So he has a lot of fun over there too. Better than Chloe? Yeah, a lot better than Chloe. So you don't want like <laughs> flounder or something? I don't know, Pam. Tell me what you like and then maybe I'll like it. Why are you so indecisive? I feel like I'm blind. Look at my hair. <laughs> my eyes like still have a lot of eyeliner. Um, I am uh, my trainer's coming right now, so I'm gonna do a little bit of cardio before it gets here. This hair needs to get fixed, and I'm just wearing um, this top from Victoria's Secret, Lulu leggings, and Nikes. Really not in the mood. So I was cool, and when I finally got sober, felt ten years older, but fuck it, it was something to do. I'm living out in LA. The beige or the brick? They're the same. Oh.
What are you doing? What are you doing, babe? Hi. Please cut your steaks on the nose to make sure they're the right temperature, please. And we have hot sauce in the middle of the table that's like green peppers. That's perfect. Works for me. Yesterday, well, I didn't do anything except um, lay around, watch YouTube videos, watch Netflix. Watched a lot of Kardashians and I Am Kate, which I don't like I Am Kate. I don't like that show, but I was watching it anyways. <laughs> um, I slept a lot. Um, my sister, Steph and Alex slept like around three. Um, and yeah, it was just pretty uneventful. And I like made dinner like, um, at, like 5.30 and then just ate that food for the rest of the day um but I wanted to hop on here and uh end the vlog and stuff and I like got to my car right now and, or like got to my parking garage and I was like shit my car is at my apartment because on Saturday after lunch we went to um that brewery that I vlogged at uh so like I left my car at my apartment and we walked there because it's like a really close walk so we ended up doing that and obviously I wasn't gonna like drive after so um, we took an uber back here and then yesterday I just thought like I was like oh, I'll get my car on Sunday thankfully um, I have my mom's car there so if not I was gonna be like super 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 late to work um, not to like uber all the way back cuz I'm like where my parents live is like very close to work like we're five minutes away and where my sister and I live we're like 20 minutes away from work so yeah, um, but I'm on my way into the office now. I have like a pretty busy day for a Monday. Um, I have like a meeting. One of one of my biggest clients is uh, McDonald's and we um, are trying to partner with the Ronald McDonald House and see what stuff we can do. Um, they do a lot obviously and we're just trying to get more involved um, and try to help them out as much as we can. So I have a meeting at um, with McDonald's and then with the Ronald McDonald house, see how that goes. And yeah, it's going to be a good week. Um, I'm here all week and this weekend and, um, then I'll be going to Florida the week after, um, we have a conference there for work. Um, but it'll be me, my sister, my boss and my dad. So that'll be great. I'm excited for that. So yeah, um, sorry again that if the vlog was a little off and I realized that I haven't up uploaded my February favorites. It's like uploaded, but I haven't done the thumbnail and the information box and stuff like that. So I'm sorry, I'll try to do that today if I have time. Um, so this probably won't go up till like Wednesday or so. I'm gonna call it February, like late February favorites. It's already gonna be March 15th <laughs> tomorrow. I'm so behind on videos I hate it that's what happens when I travel um, but hopefully you guys understand it's not that I don't want to be making videos I think just sometimes I have more some sometimes I have more time than than other times you know but uh, all right guys well I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed the weekend vlog and I will talk to you guys soon bye